push up onto your hands and knees for tiger pose. Exhale and touch your nose to your raised knee. Inhale and raise your leg up behind you as you lift your head. Exhale and round your back, bringing your nose to your knee. Let's repeat this movement. Inhale as you lift your leg and arch your spine. Exhale as your leg comes down and your spine rounds. Move with the rhythm of your breath. Don't worry if your knee and nose don't meet. Just bring them as close as you can. This exercise strengthens your back muscles. It also keeps your spine flexible. If lifting your leg high is uncomfortable, just extend it straight out behind you. Make your movements slow and smooth. As you lift your leg, point your toes straight up. Lift your leg one more time. Bring your knee to the floor. Exhale and bring your left knee to your nose. Inhale and raise your leg as you stretch your neck back and look up. Exhale and round your back as much as possible. Continue in your own rhythm. Press down firmly as you round your upper back. Lift away from your hands as you look up. Be aware of your breath and your movements. Notice which parts of your body are stretching and contracting as you change positions. Tiger pose stretches and strengthens the back. It's also helpful for relieving sciatica as it relaxes the sciatic nerve. Now lower your knee to the ground. Bring your buttocks to your heels and your forehead to the ground. Rest your arms in front of you. Breathe normally now, relaxing your back legs, shoulders, and arms. Lie on your back for our next pose. Turn your palms down. Bend your right knee. Bend the left, placing your feet flat on the ground, hips distance apart. Tuck your buttocks under until your hips lift up. Then slowly lift them higher until your body forms a diagonal line from your shoulders to your knees. Hold for a few moments, breathing slowly and evenly. Very slowly, lower your spine to the ground, one vertebra at a time. 
Tuck your buttocks and let your lower back touch the ground. Again, contract your buttocks and slowly lift your hips. Your back curls up off the floor very gradually. Come down slowly. This exercise corrects three back posture as well as a flat lumbar curve. It also strengthens your abs and hamstrings. Relax when you reach the ground. Take a few full breaths. Let's lift up again. Keep your knees in line with your hips. Don't let them splay outward. If you contract your legs and buttocks, holding the pose with your back muscles, you don't need to press down on your arms that much. Slowly lower your spine. When your hips touch down, relax them. Take a breath. Then tuck your buttocks in right before you lift up again, slowly and with full awareness. And gradually lower your spine onto the floor. Focusing carefully on these simple movements is calming to the mind. It also makes us more sensitive to our bodies and reviews areas that feel tight or dull due to lack of chi or prana. Come up one more time. Following the movements of your spine with your mind brings chi or prana to the area. This subtle energy nourishes the spinal discs, nerves and bones improving the health of the entire body. Place your vertebrae back down, one at a time, until finally your hips reach the ground. Bring your feet and knees together. Interlock your fingers under your knees. Inhale and roll your lower back off the floor. Exhale and release. Repeat. Do this gently. Even very small movements will be effective. Sometimes just bringing your knees closer to your chest is enough. As you inhale and lift, the expansion of your abdomen supports your lower back. This makes it easier to hold the pose for a few seconds. Focus on the movements of the lumbar spine. The actions of your legs and arms are secondary. You can even do this exercise with your arms by your side. This exercise stretches tight muscles in the lower back. Release your hands and bring your feet to the floor. Lower your legs. Extend your left arm at shoulder level, palm up. Bend your left leg and place your foot on your right knee. Place your right hand on your left knee and lower it to the right in a spinal twist. Bring your knee down and keep pressing your left shoulder to the ground. Don't let it come up too high. Keep your head centered. Do deep abdominal breathing as you hold. 
With each inhalation, feel your abdomen expand. Exhale and release further into the twist. As you continue to breathe and relax, your knee will gradually come closer to the floor. This pose gives your body a wonderful twist. It stretches tension from the back muscles and keeps your spine loose and supple. Release the twist, raising your knee. Extend your right arm out, level with your shoulder. Lower your left leg. Bend your right leg and rest your foot lightly on your left knee. Lower your knee to the left, using your right hand to gently increase the twist. The goal of this pose is to gently lengthen and stretch your spinal muscles, not to touch your knee to the ground. Abdominal breathing helps you release into the pose. Press your right shoulder down to increase the twist in your upper back. This twist increases the space between the spinal discs, nourishing them with fresh blood. It equalizes the length of your back muscles and opens the chest, improving your posture. Slowly twist back to center. Still lying on your back, Cross your ankles and hold your feet. Draw your feet down so that your lower back rests on the floor and your thighs press against your chest. Place gentle pressure on your feet so you feel your lower back fully supported by the floor. Rest here and continue to do abdominal breathing. As you inhale, your abdomen expands and rises. As you exhale, it falls and gently contracts, sinking your lower back into the ground. A regular and varied yoga practice can certainly help many back problems. The asanas improve your posture and strengthen your back muscles. They also build up the muscles that protect and support your back, and they release the tension that can cause pain. Release your feet and lower them to the ground.